been a while. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Simply Diana. I kind of did a double intro in there. Um, so I recently just started college back up again. My hair is black now, and yeah, a lot's been going on. I've been like uber busy, but kind of wanted to make this video about how high school hasn't really prepared me for college in a way. The two things that high school has really helped me for with college is taking AP tests and passing them have given me college credit. So like I walked in and I already had 12 credits, so that's cool. And um, my GPA gave me a decent scholarship. But that doesn't really have to do with the school, that has to do with me and my work ethic. But, like everything else is either what high school teachers have taught me and told me, they just don't apply to college, like, at all, at least where I'm going to university. The first thing that really bothered me is in high school, when we wrote papers, we would write them in MLA format. Every single paper I've had to write has been in APA format. I did not learn APA format, so like when I got to my college, they're like, oh yeah, do you guys know how to use APA? And everyone else was like, yeah. And I'm like sitting here like, what the fuck is APA? What? And then I looked, I was like, I don't, I didn't know that you needed a whole ass like title sheet that summarizes what you're going to talk about and all that. Like, I was taught like completely, a completely different method. And my high school teachers were, oh, you're definitely going to be using MLA format at college. No, at least not where I'm going. Bouncing off of like the whole paper thing, I was told my entire life not to use statements like, in this essay, I will blah blah blah, or use a bunch of I statements, or say you, or like anything like that. But one of my professors in the current class I'm taking, she wants us to use like, oh, in this paper, I will be talking about blank, blank, and blank, and use I statements. And I'm like, connect the dots. This, this is no, this is yes. What? And so, so, what is the truth? One of the most annoying things in high school was having to ask permission to go to the bathroom. And they're like, oh, you know, you can't just like get up in the middle of class and leave to use the restroom. Well, guess what you do in college? You get up in the middle of class being silent so you're not disturbing everyone. Go to the bathroom and come back. Not a big fucking deal. And high school, it's much easier to talk to your teachers than it is to talk to your professors at university. Because a teacher in high school has their own classroom that they're always in. You know, like in college, teachers and students meet together at our room. It's not their room. It's just like for this hour or hour and a half, this class is happening with this professor and these students. And professors have office hours, and you have to make appointments with them. They're not willing to like stay behind for 15 minutes so you can have help on something. They're just gonna tell you to email them. This isn't something that like high school didn't prepare me for. Well, I mean, in a way, kind of, but it's not their fault. But like, it's just with the modernization of technology nowadays. Like, everything's online. Fucking everything. Like, I haven't had to hand in like a physical paper since high school and I'm like oh geez and for some classes homework is never reviewed my math assignments were all online all my quizzes were online and every like chapter review has been online and half the time the professor didn't even know what the exact homework was she would just like give it to all of us and be like oh it's due then it's due now it's due in a week it's due in two days and all that and she never spoke about it in class Never. When you turn it in, they don't say shit about it. And I'm Unless you're a resident in college, it's gonna be kind of hard for you to make friends if you're an introvert like I am. I remember talking to my teachers back in high school like, oh, you know, like, I'm not gonna go there to make friends. And they're like, well, it'll be helpful like to make a friend or two in a class so like you can get help on assignments. And I was like, yeah, I guess. But it doesn't help when everyone in class is absolutely radio silent. How am I ever gonna like be able to talk to someone in here for help if they're just gonna be sitting around with a button, this like piss angry look on their face? It's impossible. I remember being told back in high school that I can't cram before like the before a final like the day in advance. I did. I went through a bunch of chapters in my criminology book 
and I got an A on that final the next day. Some high school teachers were like, oh, don't worry about this. Like, you'll be able to get to know your professor. Like, bitch, no, half my professors didn't even know my name the entire semester. How am I supposed to get to know them if they don't care to know about me? Teachers were like, oh, you know, like, they're not gonna let you in if you're late. Well, if it's the first class, and you're on a very congested campus that's absolutely impossible to find a parking spot on campus that so you're gonna have to go to the neighborhood like ahead to try to find a parking spot and circle around for like 20 minutes you're bound to have a few late students so like and usually like the first class and like the first class back from like lunch break they're a little more lenient on people being a couple minutes late so yeah and like just a heads up, I'm in my second year of university, college, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like everything I learned in high school has just been, like, irrelevant to college. It's, like, completely different. How could I have predicted that everything would have been this way? Because, like, you don't know until you experience it. And I don't know if I'm making any sense right now, so forgive me, please. I was taught this one way. And now it's this way. I was taught one thing, and it's another thing. I was told not to do this, but actually do it. Like, it's so conflicting, and I don't understand, and I don't think I ever will. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys did like it for any reason, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I try to make videos as often as I can. And as always, I hope you guys had a great time watching this video, because I had a great time making it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.